આ માહોલમાં અને આ વાતાવરણમાં બોલવાની મારી અપાત્રતા હું બરાબર સમજુ છું ઇંગ્લિશમાં બોલો અંગ્રેજીમાં પણ રજૂ કરી શકો છો વિચારો અબો અંગ્રેજીમાં રોજ બોલવું પડે છે આપનો હુકમ હોય એમ કરો શું કરું બાપુ ગાંધીનો એવો નિયમ હતો કે કઈ રસ્તો ન નીકળે ત્યારે પેલો સિક્કો ઉછાળીને ચટપટ કરે હવે મારી પાસે તો સિક્કો નથી હોય એટલે આપનો આદેશ હોય એ પ્રમાણે કરું fully aware of my limitations to speak to such an audience i come here to obey an order bapu ram katha contains profuse references to krishna katha and lots of things have been said here about krishna by very competent persons they have said a lot of things and some of those things are true but i am going to talk not about krishna but inheritance of krishna what krishna has given to the world why is he considered to be a jagat guru krishna has given us two things a book and a sect a granth or a panth his gita is considered both as a primer for the study of hindu religion and the climax of hindu philosophy gita is no longer a text of the hindus gita has become a universal treatise studied more studied more accurately and studied more truthfully abroad than in india i am ashamed to confess that what they have done to gita we have never been able to do Gita is fairly well known and I will not talk I will not take much of your time about it but the sect which he established the turn which he gave to the Hindu religion is very little known even to his followers and even to his admirers Krishna is the chief god a chief propounder of vaishnavism that religion has passed through several names ekantikas narayana dharmas bhagavatas and now known as vaishnavas it is taking one more turn the foreign scholars are arguing that vaishnavas 
do not worship Vishnu. They worship Krishna more. And therefore, this sect is not a Vaishnavite sect, it is a Krishnaite sect. They have started using a new name. Vaishnavism or Krishnaite sect is the chief embodiment of bhakti. We do not know where and how bhakti began. We have no idea about it. But there are several acharyas who claim to have propounded bhakti. Ramanuja, Madhva, Nimbarka, and Vallabhacharya. But let me tell you, acharyas have not done much for Vaishnavism. They have not done much for bhakti. Bhakti has been created, has been nourished, has been propounded by what we call the santas, ignorant, downtrodden, coming from the worst section of the society. It is they who have propounded and nourished bhakti. The earliest that we have are the alvaras of Tamil. Out of the ten prominent alvaras, one is a robber, one is a prostitute, two are the untouchables, three people come from the backward section. One, Andara, Meera of South India, is the daughter of a priestess. She considered herself to be the wife of Srirangam and actually married her ceremoniously. I don't have much time about it, but these Alvaras have wrote innumerable bhajans, innumerable padas, 4,000 of them have been collected in Tamil language known as Nariyal Prabandham. They were collected by Yamuna Acharya, the maternal uncle of Ramanuja. And they are still every day sung in the Vaishnava temples of South India. Bhakti began in the South. That is what Bhagavad says. Bapu knows about it. Bhagavad says, Bhakti was born in Tamil. It was nourished and grew up in Karnataka. It became mature in Maharashtra. When it entered India, it became an old woman. Padma Purana goes one step further. That the old bhakti of Gujarat, when she went to Vandravan, she became a young lady again. And both her sons, Gnan and Vairagya, were, die, were dead. Because bhakti needs neither Gnan nor Vairagya. Bhakti is an attachment. Bhakti doesn't believe in giving up. So, these poems, why, why was it that Vaishnavism developed under them? The seed of bhakti, the seed of Vaishnav thought, the bija, lies in Gita. Striyo Vaishya Tatha Shudra Yopisu Papa Yonaya. Women, merchants, Shudras. Krishna is the first person, he is the first thinker in India who protested against the caste system. He discarded them. 
He opened the path of spiritual development for all. That is the importance and greatness of Krishna. That is why Krishna is loved, remembered, worshipped by every section of the Indians. And you will be surprised that in Vaishnav sect there is no caste distinction. Gandhi has become famous for giving entrance to Dalits or trying to get the entrance of Dalits into the temples. Gandhi was very late, late by 1,000 years, because Ramanuja is the first Vaishnava Acharya who gave entrance to the Dalits in the temples. It was Ramanuja who began that tradition. And that tradition has been continued by the latest or very late development of Vaishnavism. Pranami Vaishnavas, uh, uh, Gandhi was profoundly influenced by Pranami Vaishnavism because his mother was a Pranami Vaishnava. And more important was that his wife was Pranami Vaishnava. Gandhi had no go. Gandhi had to be a Pranami Vaishnava, both the mother and the wife, two women that influences every male more than anyone else. So Pranami Vaishnavas even today do not believe in untouchability. And in the Pranami Utsavas, every caste sits together for food. So Vaishnavism is a variegated religion, variegated sect. Innumerable branches have come up. But just as Vaishnavism has done something good, Vaishnavism has also produced a sect about which Bapu himself is very uneasy. He never names him because Bapu does not believe and does not have any enemies. He is an Ajat Shatru. But Bapu, I can't afford to be an Ajat Shatru. I need a few enemies to keep myself alive <laughs> and kick him. So Bapu may not name them, but it is the latest sect of Swami Narayan Sampradaya who is doing very great injustice to the creativity of Vaishnavism. And you all know Krishna put the women first, sthriyo vaishya tatha shudra. And women are denied equality by Swami Narayans. There are many other things that they do which, which does not befit a Vaishnava. But, well, you can't do anything more except write and protest and Nagin can only talk about it. He can't do much because I'm not a Bapu and I'm not going to become a him. Thank you. Adarniya Nagindas. Sangvi, ek abhyasu adhyapak na varg khand ma betha hoye no anan emne emna vaktavya thi apne apyo. Have je door apne chalava noche. Atla divso dharman juda juda vishayo ne sparshta vaktavya apne hi thi raju karayche. Bapu ek evo aroche ke jaa a shikshit thi madi ne adi shikshit sudina sau ek aare pani piveche. To ho ap हवे पचीना वक्तव्य माटे आमंत्रण आपु आदरणीय अध्यापक हर्षदेव माधव ने गुरु भ्यो नमः गम गणपदे नमः 
નિસીમ મહિમાશાલી પૂજ્ય બાપુ એકવીસમી સદીમાં કર્ણ દાનીશ્વરીની પરંપરાને આગળ વધારતા રમેશભાઈના પરિવાર સ્વમહિમા મંડી તેવા રમેશભાઈ અને ઋષિભાઈના પરિવાર સભ્યો જ્યારે ગુરુતત્વ કેન્દ્ર સ્થાને હોય ત્યારે બ્રહ્મા વિષ્ણુ અને મહેશ ગુરુતત્વમાં સ્વયં હાજર હોય છે અને એની ઉપસ્થિતિમાં દિવ્ય તત્વ દેવી ચેતનાનો સંચાર થતો હોય છે એટલે આ દેવસભાને પ્રણામ દેવો અને ઋષિઓનો સંબંધ પહેલેથી રહ્યો છે રમેશભાઈ કશ્યપ ઋષિ અને અદિતિના જે પુત્રો હતા એ દેવો હતા એટલે ઋષિથી દેવોનો વંશ ઉત્પન્ન થયો અને એક બીજા રમેશથી ઋષિનો વંશ આગળ વધે છે 